20 years ago, thank you, Tom, 20 years ago, nobody could have imagined that we would be in such a magnificent facility. Uh, my colleagues, Greg Simmons and Lynn Schaefer and others, know that as we talked about this possibility, it had to be about vision. And I think the thing that, that Greg would appreciate as a person over this with, with Brian when we think about the athletic program, and that Lynn would appreciate as we went to the, the University System of Maryland Board of Regents is, we said to ourselves, we deserve this. Somehow, we didn't have enough money, but we deserve this because UMBC is doing so. So I want you all to give UMBC a round of applause for deserving this. Let's start there. <laughs> but the other part, Tom, I loved listening to you. I could have taken the name UMBC and placed it where Chesapeake is. When Sharon and I and Greg went and her husband were sitting here at the game the other day, I could feel her pride already in being a part of us. It was great. In the good times and in the challenging times, we, we laughed together and we kind of cried together. And that's what this building is about. It is about our lives. It is about being a hub for this community. It's about the fact that the state deserves to have first-rate universities and first-rate facilities where people can come, whether to a commencement to see family members graduating or to a great concert or to a great game or to all the other events that will be here. And so when students and others say we're going to Chesapeake, it will be very special. It will be very, very special. UMBC is in the top 10 universities in the country, public and private, in a list with MIT and Stanford when it comes to innovation. And right now, as you talk, Tom, about the great things you're doing for families and for our state, I'm thinking about young people we have developed who are leading the nation. The, the fact is, you talked about brain injuries, the leading young neuroscientist in the world, got the young investigator last year, was a UMBC graduate who's now a professor at Duke, who's invented a, a pacemaker for the brain. And the leading technology that is now in Moderna, in Pfizer, in Johnson & Johnson and all the vaccines except AstraZeneca was developed by a UMBC graduate, Dr. Kismikia Corbett, who's over at NIH. Big round of applause because we are living because of that young woman. And the, the last Surgeon General was our graduate. The Health Commissioner of Baltimore City is our graduate. The, the, the state, the first woman to ever lead the House of Delegates in Maryland. Give Speaker Jones a round of applause, our graduate. And so like Chesapeake, like Chesapeake, we are about innovation, we are about serving people, we are about safety and security of people. When we come, when, when people come and say, should my son or daughter or my spouse or somebody come to UMBC, the only thing I say is if they come here and they work hard, when they leave, they will have a job. Give us a big round of applause for jobs and security. <laughs> and so here we are in this facility with the same level of stability as Chesapeake and UMBC in this wonderful bondage together, this bond together that says we believe in the people we serve. We believe in the people we serve. And so when people hear UMBC and Chesapeake, I'm going over to UMBC to Chesapeake, it would be about something to elevate. And that's the last point I wanna make. If you look around, this is a moment for inspiration. This is a moment when it's saying, a young university can be with an established firm, come together, a company, and have similar values, inclusive excellence, security, stability, safety, great education, innovation, and that we can change the world as the people come through this facility and are excited and inspired by commencement, by athletics, by concerts, by music. And so I want all of us to give a standing ovation to Chesapeake, and all it means for UMBC. Please, a round of applause and standing ovation. <laughs> and I love all those people sitting in the back back there. We, we'll remember that years from now. I'm gonna put my mask back on and we have a gift for Chesapeake, our partner. And I'm pleased to say I'm a member of the V Club meeting. I already have the vaccination, Tom. So okay. <laughs> Big round of applause, folks.